Well, let's take a look at simplifying expressions or finding equivalent expressions. Now, yesterday you learned how to combine like terms, and remember that a term, um, like terms, are terms that have the same variable that are taken to the same power. So x is different than x squared because the variables are taken to a different power. Now to simplify uh, really just means to combine like terms. They're the same thing. So if it says combine like terms or simplify, you are doing the same thing. Uh, you basically just want to have as few terms as possible. And so that's the goal. So if we take a look at this example here, we have 3x plus 2x plus 9x plus 3 plus 2. And if I put up here types of terms, I have x terms and I also have number terms, a non-variable term, which would be the 3 and the 2. So for my x terms, I have 3x, 2x, and 9x. and those are going to be added on together. Uh, go ahead and add this onto the example part of your notes. And then for the number terms, terms that just have a number, they don't have a variable, I have three plus two. So let's take a look here. Three plus two is obviously five x plus nine x, and then five uh, x plus nine x is 14 x. And then three plus two is of course five. So after I've simplified or combined like terms, I have 14x plus 5, and that's my final answer. And just like it says on your, uh, on your sheet there, do be prepared because they're coming at you and I can call on any one of you at any time. So here's my expression here. I have 4m plus 6n plus 7m plus 2n plus 3 plus 1. Go ahead and copy that down on your paper. Okay, and let's take a look at the different types of terms that we have. Last time we had x terms and number terms. Um, Booker, can you tell me the three different types of terms that I have here? And hopefully you said that there are m terms, n terms, and then just number terms as well. So I'll have Mrs. Sly kind of keep track of what was said and let me know. And let's go through first and underline all of the M terms. So there's an M, there's an M. So I'm going to put 4M plus 7M. And I have N terms, 6N and 2N, so I'm going to add those two together. I can combine those two. And then the 3 and the 1, those are my number terms, so 3 plus 1. So 4M plus 7M is 11M. 6n plus 2n is 8n, and 3 plus 1 is obviously 4, so my final answer is not this. This is not my final answer. It helps me get there, but my final answer, I'm going to be writing it up here, is 11m plus 8n plus 4. That's my final answer. It needs to be written in an expression. This is just three different expressions listed. Two are algebraic and one is numeric. All right. Now on the bottom of your notes, you'll notice that there's a table and it says expressions, simplify, and explanation. And then there are uh, two rows under each of those. Um, that's what we're going to be working on here. So I'm going to draw a table here. Yours is already ready to go. Lucky ducks. Your teacher's so nice. And right here we have the expression. I'm just going to abbreviate that. Well, just know that it says expression. It's kind of hard to write with the stylus. And then we have simplify, and then I'm going to put explain here instead of explanation just to shorten it up. Okay, so one of my expressions here, I have two, I have 4x plus 3, and that's equal to, or at least we hope it's equal, to this expression here. And then in the second box I'm going to copy the other one, 2x plus 7, plus 2x again, plus 5. Okay, 
So I need to figure out if these two expressions are equal to each other. So what I'm going to do to this first one is I'm going to apply the distributive property. So I'm going to take 4 times x and 4 times 3, which is 12. And the reason I could go from this expression to this expression is because of the distributive property. And that's what I'm going to put in the explain section. And I'm going to put the strib prop. Now in this second box down here, I have 2x plus 7 plus 2x plus 5. So now I have to think, okay, am I using a property here or am I just combining like terms? What do you think, Emily? Am I using a property or am I just combining like terms? Okay, I am just going to combine like terms. So I take a look here. What types of terms do I have? Remember, you can have x terms, y terms, x squared terms, just number terms. Um, Jacob, can you tell me some of the terms that I have? And I'm hoping you said that there were x terms and number terms here. So if I combine my x terms together, then I get 4x's, 2x plus 2x. And if I combine my number terms, 7 plus 5, I get 12. Looks like they've both equaled 4x plus 12. And in my explanation, I'm just going to put combo-like terms. That was the what I did in order to get this simplified expression down here. In order to get from here to here, all I did was combine like terms, and in order to get from here to here, I used the distributive property. My goal is to get the same exact expression to prove that they're equivalent. And since they both equal 4x plus 12 and 4x plus 12, I know that these two expressions, the 4 times the sum of x plus 3, and 2x plus 7 plus 2x plus 5 are equivalent. So, yes, they are equivalent. Let's take a look at another example. Further down on your paper, you'll notice that there are four expressions. There's 4m plus 8, 4 times m plus 2, 3m plus 8 plus m, and 2 plus 2m plus m plus 6 plus m on your paper. Each of these expressions we're going to be analyzing to see if they are truly equivalent. We need to simplify each expression so that every expression looks exactly the same. So I'm going to go ahead and add these in here. So, and you should too on your paper. 4m plus 8. 4 times m plus 2, 3m plus 8 plus m, and 2 plus 2m plus m plus 6 plus m. Okie dokie. Be prepared. I do have the cards right next to me as I'm filming this, so be prepared for me to call on you. Okay. Now, this first one, Stephen, this question is for you. Um, is there a way to simplify this anymore, or is this as simplified as it gets? Okay, it's actually as simple, simplified as it gets, where there's no parentheses, nothing else to worry about. Um, it's in the simplest terms. It has the fewest terms written as possible. So I do have 4m plus 8. That's my simplified expression. And my explanation for that is going to be already in simplest form. Now be careful with that. Don't use that every time. If it's not in simplest form, then you can't use that explanation. Okay, now let's take a look at this expression. How can I simplify this to make it look like this expression here? What can I do? What do you think, Maddie? Okay, yeah, I can use the distributive property here. Uh, and do 4 times m, which is 4m, and then add that to 4 times 2, which is what case? What's 4 times 2? Good, 8. And again, I use the distributive property here. 
So are these two expressions equivalent? Yes, so that means that 4m plus 8 and 4 times m plus 2 are equivalent expressions. Even though they look different, they simplify to the same expression. And that's what we're looking for when we're seeing if two expressions are equal, is do they simplify to the same thing? Okay, so let's look at this one here. 3m plus 8 plus m. How can I get this expression to look like this? What do I have to do? Do I have to use a property? Do I have to combine like terms? Do I leave it alone? What do you think, Jared? Okay, good, yeah, I have to combine like terms. And what types of terms do I have here with this 3m plus 8 plus m? What types of, what two different terms do I have, Colden? Okay, I have m terms, and what about this one? This one's just a number term. So how many m terms do I have, Maisie? How many m terms are there all together? Four. Four m's. And then what about the number? What's left with just the numbers, Amber? Good, eight. So I have now three sets of 4m plus 8, so that means that 4m plus 8 is equivalent to 4 times m plus 2, which is also, these two are equivalent to 3m plus 8 plus m, which means, remember we talked about what the equal sign meant? That basically all it means is that we have balance here. Okay, and now we have this last expression here, 2 plus 2m plus m plus 6 plus m. Let's see if this expression is equivalent to these three. So what do you think, Cassidy? What do I need to do? Is there a property I can apply here? Um, can I combine like terms? Is it already in simplest form? What do you think? Okay, yeah, I can combine like terms again. So what types of terms do I have that I can combine? Tyler, what types of terms are there here? Yeah, I have m terms. And I also have number terms. So if I combine all of my m terms, I have 2m here plus another m is 3m plus a fourth m is 4m. In my number terms, I have 2 plus 6. That gives me 8. So is this expression equivalent to these three? Yeah, all four of them are equivalent because they all simplify to the same expression. They all boil down to 4m plus 8. Now, whether it's combining like terms to get there or using the distributive property or um, one example you might see is, hang on, let me move this for a second is the commutative property. So maybe um, instead of 4m plus 8, maybe you had the expression 8 plus 4m. Now in order to move that to be 4m plus 8, you would have had to apply the commutative property. Now you can see why we spent so much time on that on Monday. Okay. Now on the last part of your um, notes, sorry, uh, you'll see that there are four more expressions. Your goal is to figure out if these four expressions are equivalent to each other. Remember, you have to give some sort of explanation when you're simplifying expressions that says, oh, I can do this because of this property or because I can combine like terms or because it's already in simplest form be prepared to do that. We're going to compare in just a few minutes, so pause it. Um, you may work with the person sitting next to you, but uh, we need to be back together pretty soon. So pause it, and I'll see you in a few. Okay, so let's put in these expressions here. And I'm going to pause the video and write them in so I'm not using up your time. Okay, so on this first expression, we have 
some distributing that we need to do. So first we have to take 3 times 2x which gives us 6x plus 3 times 2 which is 6 and then notice that this 2 it's not inside the parentheses so it does not get multiplied by 3. If we wanted it to we'd have to look at this expression here which gets multiplied by 3 because the, the 3 is getting distributed to everything but since the 2 is not in the parentheses it just stays 2. So then we have 6x plus 8. Now I actually did two things here. First I used the distributive property and I also combined like terms combining the 6 and the 2. Okay, let's take a look at this second one here. The 3 times 2x plus 2 plus 2 which are all in parentheses. So what I can do first is I can do 3 times 2x, which gives me 6x, plus 3 times 2, which is 6, plus 3 times 2, because that 2's in the parentheses, which is 6. Okay, so I use the distributive property as my first step. And then I'm also going to combine like terms, 6x plus 12. So now my question is, are these, is 6x plus 8 and is the same thing as 6x plus 12? No. So these two expressions are not equivalent to each other. Let's see what we get here. Well, this one's pretty obvious. 6x plus 8 is the same, and it's already in simplest form. So 6x plus 8, 6x plus 8, so that tells me that this expression and this expression are equal. Let's find out if this one is equal. What property am I going to be using to multiply this stuff out? Which property, Adam? Okay, yeah, I'm going to use the distributive property here. So I'm going to take 2 times 4, which is 8, and add that to 2 times 3x, which is 6x. Okay, now it doesn't quite look like these other two up here. The order is flipped around. So what property allows me with addition to move it in a different order where it doesn't affect the outcome? What do you think, Hannah? What property allows me in addition to move things around? Yeah, the commutative property. So that gives me 6x plus 8. And I'm going to add in the commutative property here. And you'll see, because this one also boiled down to 6x plus 8, that this expression is also equivalent. So this is my odd expression out, because it does not simplify to 6x plus 8, where all of the others do. All right. Uh, make sure you work hard, work smart, slow down, combine like terms, have fun, and be good, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a lovely Thursday, and I will see you soon.